Here we go again. Lenny Yoro has just signed his contract as new Manchester United player. According to Fabrizio Romano, deal completed on both clubs and player side as Manchester United and Lila are exchanging all documents today. Yoro signs in at Manchester United until June 2029. Medical tests also done. Saga over. Omar Barada kicks his Manchester United campaign off with Yoro as his first signing beating Liverpool and Real Madrid to his signature. 18-year-old Lenny Yoro is set to take the number 15 shirt at Manchester United according to reports. The same number legendary defender Nemanja Vidic wore for eight years at the club. It's the same shirt number he's worn for the past two seasons at Lille too. This is the incredible shining of Manchester United this summer. So, for the past 15 years, Man United fans have been left reeling from being told we wanted to sign players before pre-season, only to end summers with last-minute scrambles. We now have two huge talents in the door, and it's only mid-July. It's time to believe again. Meanwhile, Brentford are ready to slash their asking price for Ivan Tony to less than 50 millions of pounds due to a lack of interest. Arsenal, Chelsea and Manchester United have all made it clear to Brentford that they have no plans to bid for in the England striker. That leaves Tottenham and West Ham as his most likely suitors. Brentford had hoped to create an auction for Tony after he returned from an eight-month gambling ban in January and initially invited bids in excess of 80 millions of pounds. But there were no offers Tony during the winter transfer window, and the club have been surprised at the lack interest this summer. And United have signed 36.5 millions of pounds, Holland striker Joshua Zerksy from Bologna. However, Eric Ten Hag has emphasized the need for more Manchester United arrivals, particularly with added games in the Europa League this season. He said, We know, in depth, we need more players. With the new format in Europe, you'll have more games, more intense games, no winter break, a very condensed January. You need squad depth. Then it's more and more about survival of the fittest. In other news, United want at least 40 millions of pounds before they even consider selling Scott McTominay. Sunsport can reveal Tottenham are now tracking the Scottish international. Their London rivals Fulham have already had a bid turned down for the player. But further offers are expected for McTominay, 27, who may need to be sold by United to help balance the books and support a planned summer spending spree. Additionally, Benfica youngster Joao Neves has decided to join Paris Saint-Germain despite interest from Manchester United. Neves has been linked with a move to Manchester United and PSG this summer, but it looks like PSG is poised to win the race for the 19-year-old. PSG manager Luis Enrique has played an important part in convincing Neves. Enrique's side have offered to pay 59 millions of pounds, including add-ons to Benfica, for the player's signature. On the other side, Eric Ten Hag's squad options for Saturday's preseason friendly against Rangers could be increased. As the manager revealed in Norway, Scott McTominay returned to Carrington, as planned, on Wednesday morning, following his participation at Euro 2024 with Scotland. The midfielder did his pre-season testing at our base before heading straight out onto the pitch to maintain his fitness after taking part in the group stages of the tournament with three intense outings for Steve Clark's side. Although Saturday's 16 p.m. British summertime kickoff, which is being shown live on Man U TV, is fast approaching, it will be interesting to see if the homegrown red will be available for the match at Scottish Gas Murray Field in Edinburgh. Casemiro, Mason Mount and Hannibal occupied the midfield slots in the NB for the first half of the 1-0 defeat to Rosenborg in our preseason opener. Meanwhile, there could also be a fresh face in defense, as Harry Maguire has stepped up his return to fitness. The centre-back was ruled out of the England squad for Euro 2024 due to injury, but is now back in full training with the Reds and will hope to feature soon. Johnny Evans partnered Will Fish in Trondheim, before the pair made way for Sonny Aljafri and Reese Bennett at halftime. Fish would, no doubt, clearly love to play in the Scottish capital, following two successful loan stints in the city with Hibernian. Andre Onana, Ahmad, who had a loan spell at Rangers earlier in his career, and Jaden Sancho did not feature in Monday's opening game, but have been working out with the group this week. 
We will provide more updates when available, ahead of the match with the Gers, as the squad continues to take shape in preparation for the 2024 Tower 25 campaign. Meanwhile, Manchester United could try to recruit PSG anchorman Manuel Ugarte on loan. The Red Devils were tipped to pursue another temporary move for last season's loanee Sofian Amrabat, but Give Me Sport reckon Uruguayan Ugarte is now once more a top alternative for what could be a key midfield role alongside Kabi Menu. Additionally, is he Lenny Good? Lenny Yoro is awaiting to finalize a deal with Manchester United after Leela accepted a 52 millions of pounds offer for the defender. Fans may wonder how the France under-23 star compares to the other Red Devil defenders, Johnny Evans, Victor Lindelof, and Harry Maguire. Last season for the League One side Euro, made 32 appearances for Lille, and played a total of 2,672 minutes. This is almost double the amount of minutes Evans, Lindelof, and also Varane played. Euro's closest competitor Maguire in game time does not even come close to the defender who during his 1650 minutes of play made 24 tackles and 25 interceptions with an 83% pass accuracy. In perspective, the team made 36 tackles and 36 interceptions with a 92% pass accuracy. On the other side, there were two key positions for Manchester United to address in the transfer window, striker and centre-back. While more additions could yet be made at these positions, United have moved already to address the holes in the squad. Joshua Zerksi has replaced Anthony Marshall in attack, while Lenny Yoro is now set to replace Rafael Varane at centre-back. Manchester United are expected to target a midfielder next, Fabrizio Romano explains via YouTube. This is expected to be where United look to after the Lenny Yoro deal. While a deal for Matthijs de Ligt is still in place if United decide to add another centre-back, Romano says, Manchester United keep working on several options also in the midfield, in case Casemiro deal accelerates with Al Ittihad. After Zerkzi, after Yoro, the midfield is going to be a crucial position. This is the plan, this is the idea, Manchester United are super active in the market. Casemiro has been on the decline over the past year and looked reckless in his return to action in pre-season against Rosenborg earlier this week. He is one of United's highest earners and United would like to get him off the books. A move to the Saudi Pro League is viable and this will unlock funds for United to spend on a replacement or two. Manuel Ugarte is one option, while returning for Sofian Amrabat could also be considered. It may now be a similar story in defense, where United may need to sell one or more of Victor Lindelof and Harry Maguire in order to sign Matthijs de Ligt. However, could Lenny deal mean no de Ligt at end of tunnel? So, as Lenny Yoro's impending arrival at Manchester United has posed questions over fellow centre-back Matthijs de Ligt's expected arrival, Lila's Yoro is poised to sign within 24 hours, while a fee with Bayern Munich has yet to be agreed for de Ligt. And with United also said to be monitoring Everton's Jared Branthwaite, the Dutchman's transfer appears from certain. That's also because Euro's move could take up a sizable chunk of manager Eric Ten Hag's transfer budget, at around 52 millions of pounds in total. Meanwhile, Manchester United will listen to offers for Marcus Rashford after the breakdown of his relationship with manager Eric Ten Hag. United will demand 80 millions of pounds for Rashford, but may have to accept nearer 60 millions of pounds following his drop in form last season. The forward and Ten Hag were barely on speaking terms by the end of last term after he defied the Dutch tactician by partying until the early hours in Belfast when he was due to train at Carrington later that day. The ex-Ajax boss had already warned him about his off-field conduct after he partied at a city centre night spot following a derby hammering at home to Manchester City on October 29th. On the other side, Mason closes on Marseille deal. Mason Greenwood has touched down in France after Marseille booked a private jet for him to complete his transfer. Greenwood, 22, is set to finalize his Manchester United exit that could eventually be worth over 30 millions of pounds. The one-capped England forward, will cost League One giants Marseille an initial 27 millions plus 3.2 millions of pounds in add-ons. United also have a 50% sell-on clause included in the package. Sunsport understands that Greenwood boarded a private aircraft tonight that was booked by Marseille. 
that plane took off from Manchester Airport at 8.22 p.m. and, bar any last-minute issues, the attacker will complete his switch to join Roberto De Zerbi's squad.